Hi, I'm Chris, and today I will introduce EarthNet 2021, a dataset and a challenge for forecasting localized climate impacts. We have more and more evidence that extreme events are more likely and severe due to climate change. As you can see in this figure, many events, in particular droughts and heat waves, can be attributed to human influence that is mediated through climate change. In order to prepare for the next extreme events to come, we are generating seasonal weather predictions. For example, here you can see temperature and rainfall for next January over Europe. Seasonal weather predictions give us extremely valuable information. However, they have a very coarse resolution. This very coarse resolution is a little bit problematic because the impacts that we want to prevent materialize at a very local scale. Weather interacts with local factors such as vegetation, soil type, or even a slope. Here, you can see how during a heat wave, most of the meadows and the grasslands become dry and brown, but this impact is very unequal and heterogeneous. North facing slopes, desert vegetation types, or places that are close to a river will still keep some productivity and are not that affected. With EarthNet 2021, we would like to forecast these high resolution impacts. This is difficult, yes, it, it is feasible, given that we have a huge amount of data and we have very powerful models. We can see the effects of extreme events on satellite imagery, and we know there is a strong link between climatic conditions and the state of land surface. Therefore, we want to propose a challenge to predict future land surface as it is seen from a space given the coarse weather projections. Every sample on our dataset has 10 frames of 5 daily Sentinel-2 high-resolution multispectral imagery that can be used as context or to warm up your model. Following them, there is 20 more frames that are to be predicted. These 20 frames total 100 days, which is the typical scale of a seasonal weather prediction. In order to accurately predict the evolution of the surface, future weather projections are to be leveraged. In addition, we include meso and high resolution scale elevation models. To recap, your task is to using context satellite imagery and future weather, submit a model that can predict future satellite imagery. The dataset has over 30,000 samples like the one you just saw. And these are split between a train set and four different testing tracks. The main testing tracks assumes that in production, any such model is going to have access to all of the Earth observation. Therefore, the distribution of the test is identical to that on the train set. The out of domain test has samples that belong to a different special distribution. And with it, we want to evaluate model robustness. We also have a special tracks like a stream weather test that includes a heat wave that was left out of train set and a full seasonal cycle test where the prediction length is two years instead of just 100 days. We evaluate these predictions based on the EarthNet score. The EarthNet score ranks the model based on four different subtasks. The overall accuracy of the prediction, the vegetation and state trend and distribution, and the land surface perceptual similarity. You can find in-depth information in our website, where you will also find the dataset, the leaderboards, a quick start guide, and templates for model, for, for model developing in TensorFlow and PyTorch, and more. And with that, I want to thank you for your attention, and I hope to see you on the leaderboard.